بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I welcome you to our lesson on du'as or supplications ad'iyya that we recite before and after wudu You see before you come to school or go for a party you take a bath and wash your face and change your dress and comb your hair and then go so when we go for meeting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should be more careful because he is the one who gave us everything that we have therefore before we pray we should do wudu wudu is also a reminder to check cleanliness am I clean do I smell nice are my teeth my hands my face clean are my clothes clean neat and tidy are my nails short are my hair set do I keep my room clean you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be clean always and wudu at least five times a day helps us prepare to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a clean state and it automatically reminds us to be clean always so before we start wudu we say bismillah in the name of Allah and as you know very well that we should start everything with Bismillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that case will bless us in our work and remember also that we are doing wudu to pray so that we make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy not to show others that we are very pious we are making رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى تطاهرين. Let us learn the meanings of this prayer. أشهد أن I bear witness I bear witness that لا إله إلا الله there is no god but Allah there is no deity but Allah. I bear witness what does it mean that means I believe in it I do it and I say it in beautiful and kind ways to others I bear witness means my sayings my actions and my whole life shows that I believe in Allah and I worship and obey him with love this is the meaning of I bear witness meaning my sayings and my action it shows that I obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with love لا إله إلا الله لا no لا means no لا إله no God لا إله no God إلا الله except الله إلا means except إلا means except لا إله إلا الله no God except الله meaning there is no God except الله no deity except الله that is I do not worship anyone except الله not fear anyone except Allah nor ask anyone except Allah nor obey anyone except Allah if you obey our parents our teachers our elders it is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us to obey them if we obey our desires what I like then we are not true in saying la ilaha illallah when I say la ilaha illallah it is as if we are saying oh Allah I will not obey shaitan I will not obey my evil desires or anyone except Allah. That is the meaning of saying Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Let us practice at least three times. Ashhadu, I bear witness, an that la ilaha, no God, illallah, except Allah. Ashhadu, I bear witness, an that la, no, ilaha, God, illa, except Allah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah I bear witness that there is no god except Allah Ashhadu an I bear witness that la ilaha illallah there is no god except Allah Let us think more about la ilaha illallah Whatever we have our money parents friends our house is all from Allah Any fun that we have eating drinking playing meeting people that we have is only because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept us alive and healthy and prosperous 
therefore we should love him we should worship him and we should obey him let us go further wahdahu la sharika lahu wahdahu he is alone wahdahu he is alone he is one wahid ahad so wahdahu he is alone la sharika no partner lahu to him lahu means for him or to him wahdahu he is alone la no sharik partner lahu to him no partner to him actually he does not need any help he is all powerful he alone can answer all our prayers we can talk directly to him therefore we should ask and worship and obey him alone and fear him alone it is allah who created everyone even big people even if they talk big they are helpless in front of allah it is only allah who gave them chance to have power we should therefore not even think of worshiping anyone else whether stones trees idols people because allah has no partner no equal no similar entity nothing he is alone and he is all powerful and we worship and obey and ask him only let us continue wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu wa ashhadu and i bear witness the same word anna that an is that anna is also that it is that indeed but for briefness sake you can say that i bear witness that wa muhammadan muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam abduhu his slave you see rabbuhu we learned that his lord deenuhu his religion so abduhu his slave wa rasuluhu and his messenger I'm showing it this side, his, that's what we have learned, huwa hum, anta antum, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is above us, okay? So I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and his messenger. I bear witness, again, what does it mean? I believe in it, I do it, and I say it in beautiful and kind ways. And I bear witness also means my sayings and my actions show that I believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I follow him with love. My life shows that, my sayings show that, my actions show that. I believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I obey him with love. Muhammadan abduhu, his slave. You see, we are all slaves of Allah. Why slave? Because he created us. We belong to him. We will return to him. He owns us. He owns everything in this world. So we are his slaves. There is nothing negative about it. It is an honor to be called slave of Allah because it is a fact. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is also his slave, Allah's slave, and in fact the best slave. Wa rasuluhu, and also his messenger. Allah subhanahu wa taala loves us all very much. He wanted to show us the best way to live in this world and to gain eternal happiness. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam his messenger. Allah gave him the Quran through angel Jibreel. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam conveyed Al-Quran to us and also showed us how to follow the Quran, how to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he became most successful because he followed the Quran, he followed the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us practice wa ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu three times. Wa ashadu and I bear witness. Anna that Muhammadan Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abduhu his slave, Allah's slave, wa rasuluhu and his messenger. Wa ashadu and I bear witness. Anna that. وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ and I bear witness that Muhammadan Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده his slave ورسوله and his messenger وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ and I bear witness that Muhammadan Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم عبده ورسوله his slave and his messenger that's all for today don't forget to do the homeworks that is you know fill up the worksheets and uh, refer to the poster or you know listen to the tape and start your homeworks with three minutes of study from this book subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين We will continue with our lesson that we studied in the last class Please revise whatever we have studied and let us continue Allahumma ja'alni min al-tawabin Allahumma O Allah ij'al make ni me ij'al make ni me min al-tawabin from min is from Allahumma ja'alni O Allah make me min al-tawabin from min is from al-tawabin those who repent often those who make tawbah again and again so we are asking Allah Oh Allah, make me among those people who repent again and again, who make tawbah again and again, every day. Some, you see, we commit so many mistakes. Sometimes we realize them and sometimes we don't even know that we have done a mistake. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taught us that whenever we do mistake, we should immediately say sorry when we realize it and not repeat them again. We should say sorry especially to Allah because Allah loves those people who say sorry and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives them. So let us practice it at least three times. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ij'al, make, ni, me, min, from, at-tawabeen, those who repent often. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ij'al, make, ni, me, ij'al, ni, make, me, Allahumma, ij'al, ni, O oh Allah, make, me, min, from, At-Tawabeen, those who make Tawbah often, those who repent often, those who say sorry often. Allahumma, O oh Allah, ij'al make ni me min At-Tawabeen from those who make Tawbah often. Waj'al ni min al-Mutatahirin wa and waj'al and make ni me min from al-Mutatahirin those who purify themselves in the beginning we said Allah wants us to be clean and pure Allah loves those people who are clean and pure our clothes face teeth body everything should be clean and our hearts and minds should be pure no bad thoughts no jealousy no bad words no hatred to anyone we should love and respect everyone these are the people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves don't we want to be like them those who Allah loves definitely yes and we are praying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh Allah make us among such people and we will try if we try Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help us become like them also do you want to live with a dirty friend or live in a dirty place? No, every one of us likes clean and pure places. The same place when cleaned will be beautiful. So don't hate the person, hate the dirt that he is in. Let's come to spoken Arabic. We say one of the two sentences when we take refuge in Allah. For example, we say A'udhu Billah, that means I take refuge in Allah or na'udhu billah we take refuge in Allah and we have studied that a'udhu billah means I take refuge in Allah na'udhu is new when you say instead of a na it becomes we na'udhu billah we take refuge in Allah a'udhu billah I take refuge in Allah and na'udhu billah we take refuge in Allah we take protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in grammar let us learn some more new things so far we have learned huwa hum anta antum ana nah can you translate huwa he hum they anta you antum you all ana i nahnu we huwa hum anta antum ana nahnu can you repeat after me huwa hum huwa anta antum anta antum Ana nahnu. Ana nahnu. Similarly, you have learned Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum, Rabbuka, Rabbukum, Rabbi, Rabbuna. Can you translate Rabbuhu, his Lord? Rabbuhum, their Lord. Rabbuka, your Lord. Rabbukum, your Lord. Rabbi, my Lord. Rabbuna, our Lord. Can you repeat after me? Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum. Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum. Rabbuka, Rabbukum. Rabbuka, Rabbukum. 
Rabbi, Rabbuna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. Repeat after me. Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum. Rabbuhu, Rabbuhum. Rabbuka, Rabbukum. Rabbuka, Rabbukum. Rabbi, Rabbuna. Also we have learned Hiya, Hunna, Anti, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. Can you translate Hiya, She? You know, you use right hand for he, them, and left hand for she, right hand for boys, left hand for girls, just to make it distinct for learning. He, she, hunna, they, anti, you, or girl, antunna, you all, or girls, ana, I, nahnu, we. You see, ana, nahnu, ana, nahnu is same for boys or girls. Today we will learn Rabbuha, Rabbuhunna, Rabbuki, Rabbukunna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. These Ha, Hunna, Ki, Kunna, and E, Na. You see, we had Hu, Hum, Ka, Kum, E, Na for boys. Here it is Ha, Hunna, Ki, Kunna, E, Na. E, Na is same. Ana, Nahnu is same. E, Na is same. So it is Hu, Hum, Ka, Kum. Here it is Ha, Hunna, Ki, let us do it in four cycles. First, repeat after me. Rabbuha, her lord. Rabbuha, her lord. Rabbuhunna, their lord. Rabbuhunna, their lord. Rabbuki, your lord. Rabbuki, your lord. Rabbukunna, your lord. Rabbukunna, your lord. Rabbi, my lord. Rabbi, my lord. Rabbuna, our lord. Rabbuna, our lord. Now I will say it in Arabic, you translate. Rabbuha, her lord. Rabbuhunna, their lord. Rabbuki, your lord. Rabbukunna, your lord. Rabbi, my lord. Rabbuna, our lord. Now let us talk in Arabic as if we are talking to Arabs. That means, you know, the way we talk to Arabs, if we are not able to speak Arabic, we'll move our hands. So, you know, use everything. Rabbuha, Rabbuhunna. Rabbuha, Rabbuhunna. Rabbuki, Rabbukunna. Rabbuki, Rabbukun, Rabbi, Rabbuna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. Lastly, I will just show the signs and you will repeat. I will say it slowly. Rabbuha, Rabbuhunna, Rabbuki, Rabbukunna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. Once more, Rabbuha, Rabbuhunna, Rabbuki, Rabbukunna, Rabbi, Rabbuna. We'll take another word, Deen, way of life system of life the way we live people say it religion but it means everything all everything that we do way of life deen ha so we just apply ha hunna ki kunna ina to this word deen ha her way of life deen hunna their way of life deen ki your way of life deen kunna your way of life deeni my way of life deen una our way of life Just repeat after me. Dinuha, dinuhunna, dinuha, dinuhunna, dinuki, dinukunna, dinuki, dinukunna, dini, dinuna, dini, dinuna. Once more. Dinuha, dinuhunna, dinuha, dinuhunna, dinuki, dinukunna, dinuki, dinukunna, dini, dinuna, dini, dinuna. Now I'll just show the signs and you can repeat. Dinuha, dinuhunna. Dinuki, Dinukunna, Dini, Dinu. Isn't that simple? Of course, it's so easy to learn. And also, these you know attachments have come in the Quran many, many times. So, mashallah, you have learned those. That's all for today. Don't forget to do the homeworks. You know, fill up the worksheets and uh, refer to the poster, listen to the tape, and start your homeworks with three minutes of study from this book. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika, nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.